is the full moon energy vibration um, for uh, the heart sign people. This is for um, the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support. Um, this energy vibration reading is from the 15th of December till the 15th of January. Um, it is a timeless reading, so whenever you receive this reading, you're supposed to receive this. YouTube has changed up as you guys have seen. Please join my channel. As you join my channel and you pay $1.99 or $4.99 or $9.99, you will have all the extended readings for $4.99 and $9.99. $9.99 is when you can connect with us, um, live chat and all of that. <laughs> There's a lot of perks that is coming up. I, YouTube is really changing up and I think that's best because everyone is um, um, can receive the... And, for just the 4.99 subscription you get all the extended readings okay all right so in order to get the extended readings for this um connect with us and join um the channel on youtube and then you can accept these readings okay so whatever is happening i'm seeing some of you um dealing with uh, an air sign person whoever this air sign person is they're in the reverse, okay? It's like they can't touch you anymore. Whatever they were doing and whatever was transpiring, they can't touch you anymore. So I don't know who is, uh, um, who was that for, but as I was um, reading and, um, you know, changing the cards, I see this happening. All right, we're first going to be looking at the sun sign people and then we look at the moon sign people. Do not go away because then we look at all the 12 houses, okay? So let's just give these cards another shuffle because I just did the air sign. Um, remember that all extended readings is there for a happy birthday to the Capricorns. Um, for the rest of uh, the Taurus and Virgo as it comes to the second, uh, third week, um, you are going to be feeling much better, okay? Go check out all the extended readings and um, if you'd like a private reading, you can still catch me on my website, okay? So all these readings are going to be available, especially the extended. All readings have extended readings now. Let's go in and look at the people who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Earth sign, people, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What's coming up for you guys? All right, so I'm seeing some worries. Whatever this worries is, I'm seeing worries coming in for you guys. Okay, some of you are worried. Whatever this worries is, we're going to be looking because it is the nine of swords. A lot of you are in your head. Whatever is this, um, and this is on the 15th of December, okay? So I'm seeing a lot of you in your heads. Whatever is transpiring, you're not seeing something clearly. You are being, um, is this something is blocking um, your vision it's as if you're you're worried you're not seeing something clearly and because you're not seeing clearly it's as if your vision is blocked okay um, then I see um, the ace of wands um, some of you are, are want a new outset or want to resolve a situation oh my god some of you wants to resolve a situation but we whatever is transpiring i'm seeing that the resolution you want to resolve a situation with a um a pisces cancer or a scorpion between the age of 18 and 45. whatever is transpiring you want a new start with this person okay you're worried you're not seeing what is happening it could be that some of you your child is a pisces cancer or a scorpion you're not aware of what is happening and it's annoying you because you need to find out what is happening to this child maybe you haven't heard from this child for quite some time and you're very worried so i'm seeing it's christmas and you're really worried because you wanted to have a new start with this person i'm seeing whatever the worries is is going to be over so whatever the worries is is going to be over if some of you are um some of you are dealing um with a cancer um I'm seeing you worried if you're in a relationship with a cancer I see you're worried um, about this cancer okay whoever this person is so the energy of the magician is in the reverse and you're not seeing clearly so it's as if something is 
um, blocking you okay and you want to break out whatever is transpiring you want to break out because you're be you're, you're not it's as if someone or something is blocking you from moving forward and this is for the people who were born um, um, in the beginning of uh, um, uh, the sun sign people okay so I'm also seeing that some of you wanted a new start whatever was happening and transpiring some of you wanted a new start there was an offer on the table and it's as if the offer has gone some of you are dealing with these water sign people and these are kids whoever these kids are you're dealing with water sign people between the age of 18 and 45 these are kids whatever is transpiring a lot of you if you have kids you're dealing with some water sign kids um, they're between the age of 18 and 45 they're Pisces cancer or scorpion whatever is happening and transpiring these are really bringing you some worries okay so worries if you're in a relationship with a with a cancer I'm seeing you worried um, or you're worried for a Gemini and a cancer okay whatever is transpiring but I'm seeing a happy family okay I'm seeing a happy family you're worried but I'm seeing that uh, everything is okay some of you if your parents is a Gemini or um, someone who is connected to your older person I'm seeing you very worried about this person okay um, whatever is happening I'm seeing um, some of you if your your wishes and dreams whatever is transpiring I'm seeing you're worried about something your wishes and dreams is in the reverse so we're going to be looking at that because your wishes and dreams is in the reverse I'm seeing some of you dealing with a lady that is a uh, Pisces cancer scorpion it could be your mom I'm seeing you're not seeing clearly exactly what is wrong with your mom or what is wrong with your sister or what is wrong um, with this person whether it could be your partner you're not seeing clearly what is wrong I'm seeing the chariot is in reverse whatever some of you wanted a new car some of you wanted a new start some of you wanted to relocate but it is in the reverse I'm seeing this in the reverse what is happening is that I'm seeing that some of you you're finding out that there was lies and deception with your kids some of you have been dealing with young people between the age of 18 and 45 and they are Pisces cancer or scorpion and I'm seeing lies and deception I'm seeing um, a young lady very sad and this is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion a very sad person whatever that person has created some lies and deception now some of you are dealing with um, um, this person it could be a legal issue it could be custody battle because it's coming up at the end and there's a lot of lies and deception that is coming up with a custody battle okay so that is good so um, whatever is happening and transpiring I'm seeing deceptiveness at the play um, whatever the situation is I'm seeing some deceptiveness at play so um, I gotta um, put my put my phone up on pause so I'm seeing a, a, a especially um, um some of some of you are dealing with um a young Pisces cancer or scorpion they're both men and women 18 and 45 a lot of lies and I see justice I see like legal issues justice like people are finding out that these two have lie and deceive a whole situation so this is going to affect um, you people um, who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. this is what is going to be affecting you okay and you are the Sun sign so let's go on and see what exactly is coming up for the moon sign remember um, you can go check out your extended to see how it's affecting you okay you can go um, check out your um, your extended reading to see how it is affecting you okay so let's look at the moon sign people let's look at the moon sign people moon sign people what's happening to the moon sign people um, people who were born um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, let's see what you're coming in with. 
um, you're coming in with the eye princess so I'm seeing your spirit guides coming up and protecting you okay so whatever is happening I'm seeing you guys your spirit guides is coming in and protecting you now be aware of what is transpiring I'm seeing that you need to stand up stand up to injustice and equality protect yourself you need to protect yourself whatever is going on you guys need to protect yourself okay I'm seeing here the wheel of fortune is coming in for you uh, moon sign people so if you were born 6 uh, um, p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning the wheel of fortune you need to protect your fortune this is what it means protect your fortune okay then I see you celebrating celebrating a situation um, against a Leo whether this Leo is you're celebrating a situation against the Leo there was some lies and deceptiveness and secrets with a Leo and you're celebrating the situation against a Leo the wheel of fortune is here and I'm seeing the energy of the Empress um, in the reverse but you're overcoming a situation okay so this energy of the Empress is coming in to really help you so the energy of the Empress is always your materialistic stability and whatever is happening with your materialistic stability I'm seeing heartbreaks is in the reverse because you have celebrated coming over a deceptive situation some of you it could be a legal situation that a deceptive Leo or a deceptive person your heartbreaks is in the the reverse I see you're too open you need to protect your um, your financial um, your materialistic world because you're too open whatever is transpiring and happening you're too open you need to protect your financial world I'm seeing you standing up and communicating and um, standing up against a deceptive situation that has transpired in your life so um, it could be a legal issue or a devastating time that has happened because it has to do with a Leo. A Leo has done some injustice for some of you and uh, you're celebrating. You're coming out of the heartbreak. The heartbreak is over because you have communicated clearly about a situation that has been happening. I'm seeing um, relationships could be ending or you could be um, deciding to end a relationship. It could be some of you, if you have a, have a friend that is a Gemini, I see you ending a relationship. I am seeing you trying to um, um, stand strong and deal with a situation, okay? So, oh my God, um, Capricorns, um, the Capricorns are here. Um, the rest of you I'm seeing the Capricorns are coming up and helping you out in this month whatever is transpiring so I'm really seeing that there are secret and whatever the secret was there was a Leo who has done some deceptiveness um, it can be a Leo but it can be also karmatic issue for some of you that is from past life that came back that you were going through but a lot of you were working on some issues now whatever that was happening I see um, that some of you were dealing with this Aquarian Gemini or Libra this person has a lot of secret this could be a situation um, when they're upright when they're upright it's like communication and it's, it's a judge and as there, there could be they could have been a deceptive judge or a deceptive lawyer whatever that was um, happening and this is someone you have known from past lifetime and you need to protect yourself from this situation because there was someone who has done it could be um, um, uh, a false lawyer or some deceptiveness that has to inspire I'm seeing you successing you're going to be very successful over a situation I'm seeing money coming in um, there was some deceptiveness there was some theft um, with some money okay there was some theft with some money where the Empress you had a lot of money but there was some deceptive situation but now it's going to be returned to you okay now it's going to be returned to you so someone tried to steal a lot of money from you but they found out what has transpired and it's going to be returned to you heartbreaks heartbreaks um, that you had to deal with work you need to protect your work if you have your business you need to protect your business but there was some heartbreaks on the work floor but you have successfully overcome the situation um, especially um, the Virgos um, you or you need to protect yourself Virgos especially up the work floor because there is some deceptiveness at play you need to 
protect yourself of the work floor i'm seeing long-term stability is coming in and this is good i'm seeing you communicating with your partner and you have a strong foundation i'm seeing whatever the issues between you and your marriage or you and your partner you have a strong foundation and you're going to be coming out of this very strong okay because you're standing up to whatever deceptiveness and injustice so wow um this spirit is really going to be affecting the Capricorns and the Virgos because the Capricorns and the Virgos are showing up now you Taurus is you're standing strong in this period so that's what I'm seeing so whatever the secrets was some of you are going to be finding out secrets in cooperation or secrets um, with a friend that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and it all it's all about money and there was some heartbreak at work with a situation but I'm seeing um, you some of you are going to be deciding i don't want to deal with these people i just want to work for myself and this is going to be good i'm seeing an issue and a situation where communication is key between you and your partner and this is going to be working out you're going to be celebrating um coming over a situation where you find that some lies and deceptive and the theft of some money is going to be returned to you okay let's see what is happening in the houses so remember these are just general reading go check out your own zodiac sign reading because with your own zodiac sign readings they it will show you um what exactly is uh, happening in your world okay remember we have the first house Taurus is you're in the second house Virgo you're in the sixth house Capricorn you are in the 10th house I will advise you as what is transpiring in those houses because that is what is going to affect you guys okay the rest of the house is going to be affecting you but whatever that sits in your house that is what is going to affect you what I'm receiving is that a lot of you um, People are going to be helping you because there was some deceptiveness where money was stolen from you. People tried to take um, your um, money and uh, tried to take you down. And um, I see um, strangers are going to be helping you to balance out a situation. Okay, hurt signs. So let's see what's coming up in the, the houses, the first house of the hurt sign. Okay, so I see... Um, Mars I see you're having conflicts with yourself um, conflicts worries and that sort of a thing um, the forces of uh, um, you working against in your materialistic in money especially for you Tauruses you're going to be healing yourself this healing is coming up for the Tauruses for the rest of you I'm seeing balance coming up in your financial world okay um, then we have love coming up people are going to be loving you guys whatever you're doing in your environment around you friends people are going to really love you um, that's in the house of uh, um, collaborating with people but your environment work um, overall in family I'm seeing um, an outlook and whenever this comes in the fourth house of family it has to uh, do with world the vision of the world because some of you are going to be thinking hey family doesn't really help you family only wants to be with you when you have something I'm seeing communications coming up with friends and people around you you're going to be communicating I see people are going to be communicating and trying to help you out of whatever is going on because people are going to be finding out that there was some deceptiveness and a lot of people are going to want to attract to you your luck is in whatever you're creating in your world whether it's it with health or whether it's something to help humanity or heal humanity that's where your luck is so jet um, jet, um virgos you're going to be very lucky virgos luck is here for you so virgos luck is coming up and some the rest of you the virgos are going to be helping you to make your wishes and dreams come true some of you are going to be finding out that the person you're with or you're going to be meeting someone who is really meant for you especially in relationship because this has been relationship some of you are dealing with legal issues and you're going to be realizing that you have uh, 
you are the one who found your true north in dealing with legal issues and know what it is and how to resolve issues and situation if you're a lawyer this is going to be good because you're going to be realizing that that you've chosen the right career your next love is in the house of intimacy so I'm seeing a lot of investment new contracts is coming in a lot of you are meeting the right person a lot of you are falling in love with the right person the sex is good love is good everything is good you feel as if you have won the love tray okay um Saturn is in the ninth house of spirituality uh traveling uh, Saturn Saturn is bringing this in plain back so if there was some deceptive move with issues and situation this is going to be balanced out so let's say that your documents were stolen or your travel documents were stolen or used I see they're finding out exactly um, what has transpired and they're going to be bringing balance back to you so they if it was stolen or if someone else has used it they're going to be finding out uh, what has transpired and help you earth sign to bring it back spirituality i'm seeing discipline so some of you are going to hand the air and realize that meditation is a key and you need to meditate so this is going to be wonderful wonderful energy neptune is in the house of reputation and this is kind of weird when neptune so capricorn you're dealing with unseen you're dealing neptune is the unseen world okay um, so in career, I'm seeing um, imagination, memories, subconsciousness, self-sacrifice, ideas, empathy. I'm seeing all of this coming up, Capricorn, and this could be what you're doing for your work. Okay, Capricorn. So whatever is happening at Capricorns, Neptune is the energy of the dreamer. Okay, magic. I'm seeing the veils of illusion is lifting, uh, fantasy, and seeing empathy. It is your birthday uh, month so I guess that's why you're in this dreamy state then we're seeing um, Uranus uh, falls in the house of uh, the Aquarian so whatever is transpiring I'm seeing some of you who um, are dealing with issues of group humanitarian and that sort of a thing I'm seeing Uranus unexpected luck is going to be coming in so let's say that you help humanity or you help people I am seeing unexpected luck coming in this house for you guys go back and check out your extended reading Pluto is in the house of surrender so Pluto is healing Pluto is forgiving Pluto is uh, removing the baggages Pluto is karma Pluto is going back to the Akashic records so whatever karmatic issue and situation you are dealing with you are releasing this and you're removing this entirely totally out of your life okay wow mm -mm -mm. art signs powerful so um yeah virgos you're going to be very lucky go look at your extended reading and you're going to be bringing luck to um the 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 Tauruses Tauruses you're going to a healing okay um, with your materialistic world you're going to a healing when healing is in your materialistic world is that some of you could be finding your healing power that is going to you're going to use it to make a lot of money okay um, Capricorn you are in a dreamful state yes it's your birthday so it's your birthday <laughs> so um, whatever first else you're dealing with a cancer and you're radically removing a cancer out of your life whoever you are out there that is dealing with a cancer and whatever these issues that is coming up with this cancer because the cancer is uh, um the dull the dual and um, it's about birth and re rebirth so whatever is transpiring a feeling sympathy and comfort nostalgia you're releasing this you're like i ain't doing this anymore because people are not like that <laughs> you know pisces some of you are dealing with an issue with a pisces whoever the pisces is i'm seeing healing coming up between you and the pisces because the pisces could have blocked your financial or whatever that is transpiring and you're realizing that and you're thinking hey i gotta I gotta heal this situation so I'm seeing some of you finding some healing to heal a Pisces who have created some issue around your financial situation then I'm seeing for um, you some of you 
are inventing something and people are loving it some of you are opening up and um, opening up yourself people are seeing you for the beautiful person that you are whatever is transpiring I'm seeing people really loving you and seeing you for the beautiful person that you are and um, whatever the issue and the situation that is transpiring I'm seeing people really loving you and seeing you for the beautiful person that you are oh my god again some of you are dealing with an Aries I don't know what is transpiring but I'm seeing radical transformation in the family whatever is transpiring I'm seeing radical transformation within the family if this is your mother I'm seeing really some um, getting down to the roots okay because the ascendance is here the outlook and I'm seeing you guys really getting down to a family issue really trying to resolve a family issue in friendship mercury I'm seeing some of you dealing with a Toro Taurus so some of you Tauruses in friendship I'm seeing you Taurus is really communicating and really being honest um, especially with people around you and friends around you and this is going to be wonderful so whatever the issue is and the situation is that some of you were having with friends and that sort of a thing I'm seeing this really balance out as you come in the month of December I'm seeing all of this really balancing out and healing is taking place so now uh, some of you Leo's are going to be having luck with a new love coming in your life but this could be something that you find um, a passion in okay so it could be a craft it could be something that you find your passion in and you're really loving this and this is going to bring you some luck okay so Virgo you are find your true North node in the house of relationships so some of you Virgos have really found the person you were meant to be with the love of your life this is who you were meant to be with um, and some of you could be deciding to get married or um, to engage with this person but Virgos I'm seeing a lot a lot coming out uh, for you guys okay so um, Capricorn sees in the second week a lot of luck is coming out uh, then I'm seeing some of you dealing with the, the Gemini's and the Gemini's are going to bring you some luck whatever is transpiring especially um, mysteriously the Gemini's are going to be helping you if you're in a relationship with a Gemini I see them really loving you the way you want to be loved really being there for you um, some of you are going to be finding out that a Gemini I've always been in love with you okay so you're gonna find out that, that um, a Gemini is your lucky star especially when it comes up to intimacy um investment um a gemini is as is if uh, if you're divorcing from a gemini they're going to say i give you everything it's okay just let it go just i give you everything um i see a gemini really going to be finding out that some deceptiveness has transpired with you and this gemini is going to say oh my god i'm so sorry if it has to something to do with them or someone who was connected with them who has done you some injustice I'm seeing this Gemini stepping back and said you know something here I'm giving you everything all right because um, I, I'm seeing a Gemini about you too okay a Gemini is going to really say to you how they feel about you a Gemini is going to bring you luck. Saturn is in transform transmission and it has to do with a scorpion. Whatever that has transpired, I see that Saturn is removing a scorpion out of your life. Whoever the scorpion is and whatever is transpiring, and whoever this person and situation is, a scorpion is connected, whether it is spiritual that a scorpion was connecting with you through the dream time, or it was uh, something to do with religious. Or something that has to do with customer blocking your financial situation and that sort of a thing I see that you're removing a scorpion out of your life the ten house Capricorns you're dealing with a legal issue whatever this is I see like um, Capricorns this this is balance coming in with a legal issue and balance coming in with your reputation okay so I see a balance um, 
harmony is coming back in your world Capricorn whatever disharmony that was there is now being removed and harmony is coming back in your world and this is going to be good because what I'm seeing here happening is that you have been hoping dreaming and wishing for peace to come into your world and it's going to be coming in then I see Capricorn um, you're in the you fall in the 11th house also and um, I'm seeing Sagittarius here also so in the 11th house unexpected um some unexpected um resolution is going to be coming so the capricorns who were at the end of their rope um and if you guys were at the end of your rope in um community groups um humanitarian i see unexpected surprises coming in for you capricorn so that is good so if you're a capricorn that help humanity and that sort of a thing i see unexpected surprises coming in where people are going to be finding out that you're really um coming from a good place and you're really opening up to help the greater good and do something for the greater good in the house of surrendering i'm seeing pluto removing a sagittarius out of your life for some of you pluto is removing the sagittarius out of your life for some of you you're even in a situation with a sagittarius that you have been um dealing with for quite some time you decide to release yourself from this energy from the sagittarian ah earth signs thank you so much for supporting my channel all these years please join my channel because I um, YouTube is about to take off and trust me you guys need to come along with me on my journey I love you guys I'm holding your ends and I am going to be helping you to go through all the situation thank you for believing in me and thank you for you know connecting with me for all these years um, let's walk together I love you guys I'm wishing you that all your wishes and dreams come true and that you have only health and prosperity and abundance namaste